Hi, and thanks for watching my little demonstration. I want to show you how to access Google BigQuery data in your data warehouse cloud. And in order to do that, I prepared a little data set that I found in the BigQuery public data. It's called Chicago City Trips. Um, there's all the trips that were taken with taxi in the city of Chicago. And I chose this because it has quite a lot of rows, roughly 200 billion records. If I do a select count star on top of this data set in the Google BigQuery, here's the result, 194 million records. And this I want to uh, get into the Data Warehouse Cloud and visualize it with the Story Builder that is using the SAP Analytics Cloud. So um, to do that, first I need to create a key for my project. So I do this in a Google Cloud Platform. And here I can create a new key. This will create a JSON and this JSON will be downloaded to my computer. And then I can access this project here in the Data Warehouse Cloud. So now I can go to the Data Warehouse Cloud. I can choose the space that I prepared for this demonstration. And here I already have a connection that is working, but I can show you again how to uh, modify it. So here I have the project that I have to specify with what I want to uh, get into. And then here I can you, uh, select my key and save it. And once I've done that, the connection should be working. Here it tells me it's valid. So now I can start to model data on top of this connection. So I go to the data builder and I create a graphical view. Here are my sources. It shows me all my connections. This only one that I have here in the space is the Google BigQuery demo with my project. And there you will see the Chicago city trips. I can just add it to my graphical data view. It's here. And then I can start modeling. Um, I don't do any advanced things. I just want to add some formulas. First of all, I want to have a counter. So each row is counted with one. I want to have this as an integer. And this looks already good. So this is my first column. The second would be a date. So we only have a timestamp in the source. So this timestamp should be formatted as a date. And the timestamp is called trip start timestamp. So when I validate it, <coughs> it seems to be working as well. And then from this timestamp, I want to create a column that is called year. So there's also a function that does that for me. Year, and then the column should be date that I just created now. Can I see it? Otherwise I have to work with the columns here and I look for it. Here it is. Let me check. Okay, looks good to me. So we can do a preview of the data if these formulas work well. Here are my calculated columns that were calculated on the fly. No data replication uh, happened here. It's just given this SQL uh, to the Google BigQuery and the BigQuery calculated it for me. You can also check the SQL that was created in order to do that. And uh, now I want to define the output. So I want to report on this view. So it should be an analytical data set. I want to expose it and then I need some measures. The measures should be the trip total and the counter that I just created. And that's it. I have my Google Big Query demo view. I could do much more with it. I could join from the same source. The joins would happen also in the Google BigQuery, so they would be quite uh, performant. Um, I could do some unions and some other operators that are supported by the graphical view builder. Or I also could uh, just use plain SQL in a scripted SQL view and so on. But I'm quite happy with that. So now I want to go into the story builder, which is uh, the SAP Analytics Cloud. 
and there I can create a visualization of the data. So first I need to select this data model that I just created and I add a chart on top of it. And what I want to do, I want to have this counter. Remember that was the calculated measure. So in total I have these 194 billion rows that I can count now. And then I can add a dimension, for example also a calculated column, the year. This is not existing in the data source itself, but it is calculated on the fly. And you can see the performance is not that bad. It's quite good actually for this amount of rows and that it's a, a calculated dimension. And um, now maybe I want to uh, do something else. I can uh, copy this chart and I don't only want to know how many trips were taken per year, but uh, also how much was the trip total per year. And maybe one more chart and then I'm finished. Uh, to show you the capabilities of the SAP Analytics Cloud. I want to create a new measure that is not yet in the data model of the Data Warehouse Cloud and also not in the Google BigQuery data source. Uh, I want to count how many companies um, were per year listed in these accounts. So I do a new measure in the SAP Analytics Cloud. I make account dimensions, which is account distinct. And here I say count the different companies that were in this data set. And I press OK. So now we have a calculated measure in the SAP Analytics Cloud, a calculated dimension from the Data Warehouse Cloud, and the data comes in real time from the Google BigQuery. So with that, I conclude my demonstration and thank you for watching.